Hi guys, this is Adgo. Well, as you know, I'm into these solar power stations. I have two small ones, an Echo Flow River, and been playing a lot more with this Jackery 500. You know, I have this thing, and I bought a 100 watt panel. The spec says that it will handle 100 watts of solar. So I bought a 100 watt panel and plugged it in and when I run it I get about 50-55 watts. A little disappointed. I thought I'd get 90 watts or something like that. I know it's getting a little more of the winter and uh, the sun is not as strong. But still I thought I would get a little better than that. And I was thinking, what can I do? And I thought, well, I'm getting 50, 55 watts. And it says that it can do 100. Well, I'll just put two 100-watt panels. They're not that expensive, about $100. Put them in series and get my 100 watts. Well, that sounded like a great idea. Then I thought, well, maybe I better take a look at the specs. Now, when I look at the spec, for the Jackery, it says the charging input is for voltage between 12 volts to 30 volts with a three and a half amp and 100 watts. Okay, well, I know uh, my voltage is like 20 and should be fine with that and 100 watts, no problem. Until I looked at the spec of the panel that I have already and you'll see and take a look at it it shows you that the voltage you need to look at when you are looking at that panel is you're looking for the open circuit voltage this panel shows 21.6 volts if I'm going to run these series two of them then they're going to add the two of them I'll get my watts that I want but I also get the voltages added. That would bring me to 42 volts and the max of my voltages is 30. That's not going to work. Uh, okay. What if I did it through parallel? Well, with parallel, okay, the voltages will stay but your amperage will go up and add just like the other did with adding both of the panels and it will exceed the amp that's needed okay I guess I just learned from something that if I get that section panel I need to do more than just look at the watts and I'm giving you this information for those of you that are new just like me uh, I was not smart enough to know that right away Look at the specs and what is this on their panels and you don't want to just worry about what the wattage is. So you can look around and there are some differences with the panels that you can buy if you're looking for a 12 volt panel and with uh, 100 watts but not that much change enough maybe 10 percent maybe 15 percent but you're not going to get to double into series of two or parallel. So this brings me back to what they designed, one 100 watt and these voltages that are on there. And this is all designed under the charging circuit control and it was built to work with one 100 watt panel. You'll end up getting efficiency somewhere between 50 to 75. You're never going to get 100 watts no matter what because there is loss when you're doing a solar panel. I guess that's why in mine is getting like 55, 60. With some other better panels, you might get 70 or so. All right, so all I did was learn from this. The way they have set up with the Jaggery 500 is great. It's what it's designed to do. And don't try to put it what it's now. If you try to push over it, it might work. But you're putting a lot of stress in that uh, circuit charging controller and also putting a stress to the battery as well. So live what they gave you in the specs and just understand how this is going. In the future, 
you may look at some other ones that you can add extra panels especially when you get to some of these larger batteries might want to work three four even 500 watts but for this particular Jackery 500 it's a great product but it's designed to work with one panel okay so that's it for now letting you learning what I learn and maybe it'll help some of you guys too this power stations are becoming very very popular and we're all trying to pick up what we can to get some energy from the Sun okay guys well that's it this is Atco signing off